Okay, now we have the pick tube is in. Now let's talk about troubleshooting. The first and one of the most common problem is clogging. And that's why part of the general care member is to flush the pick tube frequently, I think every few hours, and to flush it after every medication and to avoid using sustained release or extended release or constant release medications, uh, avoid uh, uh, giving also bulking medications and nurses, they know that. But let's say it's clogged. Usually the way nurses, sometimes they don't, they don't call you. They actually, they may have better experience in this. Flush, first of all, I'll tell them flush the pick tube with 60 cc of warm saline and see if this works. If not, I may repeat it once, twice to see if that will take care of the problem. Now, if not, one of the hacks they use, and I've learned this from them actually, they use pancreatic enzymes along with sodium bicarb tablet they crush them they crush this and mix it with this and uh, instill it into the pick tube and leave it there i think for i think maybe 20 minutes or so and then flush it and usually this can be uh, can um, take care of the problem and you still can repeat this until um, you take care of the problem if trying everything and uh, it's not working you can consult the person who put it in and the final resort of course is to replace it and we'll come to that uh, soon the next problem is also for sure we'll encounter that it's inadvertent removal for a reason or another whether it was not fixed um, the external bolster became loose or the patient got very agitated and pulled that out so what do you do here the first question how long or how old this pick tube is in is it more than four weeks or less than four weeks why it matters because here tract is mature So here the way we approach this if you can reach the the person who place it and get an advice that's great but it's if let's say you by yourself or you are busy at night this and that simply tell them because the tract is open replace it with what with a fully catheter so they can put insert a fully catheter through the mature tract and then inflate the fully catheter balloon and that should take care of the problem and this should be done as soon as possible because the tract can close that hole can close within 24 hours up to 72 hours so you want to make sure you put a replacement tube before the tract close and the easiest and fastest way in inpatient is to put a fully catheter in and then inflate the balloon and that can work really well now if it's less than four weeks that means the tract is not mature and do not insert any catheters at all leave it in leave it out sorry let it close let it heal and then after that insert a new one by of course by whoever will place it at probably a new site and don't forget is give empiric antibiotic why because there is a risk of hopefully that risk will not happen of peritonitis and keep the antibiotic until you make sure there is no signs of acute abdomen or peritonitis so that's why you should in your history know how long the pick tube is in so you can manage remember if it's mature replace it with a fully catheter as soon as possible if it's not less than four weeks leave it out don't try to put a new one give empiric antibiotic and then consult gi or surgery whoever can to place a new one if it's still need because you always remember we need to review the indications